even in our humility lies only arrogance whatever i understand it will vanish before it vanishes i want to give it to others but people around me are not interested in all this so i am improving very slowly whatever i understand i want to give it to others but people around me are not interested so i am improving very slowly who are these people around you what is their nature what do you consider yourself to be if you are given a thousand years will you have a perfect world what do you mean by a perfect world the world has its ways of operating the individual that you are divided from the world will never be at absolute peace with the world otherwise there is going to be no separation at all otherwise the world will disappear the individual too will disappear for you to write that the world is not a peace pleasing place there has to be a you for you to write that the world is a pleasing place there again has to be a you a you separate from the world the separation is anyway going to be there is it about the people around you or is it about yourself this friction this is strife is always going to be there in some form of or the other yes you can change the form yes the form can get sublimated but because by definition you are separate so the separation will continue and the final separation will be that you will be separated in the form of death it is never really about others because whatever you think of others whatever you take others to be is just your own projection a food article is kept in front of you and you find it convenient to say that you were tempted by the food not for a second do you consider that you at another time at another place would not have been tempted 
or there would have been another man who would not have been tempted does the temptation lie in the food and does food have a definition sense the temptation does the food even have existence if you remove the temptation from it will you even look at the food if there is no temptation and if you are not even looking at it does the food continue to exist so what you call as others is first of all your own tendencies you say that people around me are not prepared to understand why are they around you why are they around you in the first place they are not around you they are within you the moment they are not within you they cease to be around you the day somebody is not within you you will find he is also not around you you are those people and that is why you find it so difficult to let go of them because you are those people when they go away you feel as if a part of you has gone away you cannot let go of them the only way to be able to bid good bye to drop this feeling that you are nothing without them is to get some kind of an experience of yourself without them even if for a few hours you can experience that you exist and you exist in a full complete and healthy manner even without those people then you will inevitably realize that the threat you were perceiving was unreal you will realize that even without them if you could be and healthily be and fully be and joyfully be for 2 hours it is possible to actually be without them and that again is my attempt when i am with you to just enable you to see that you don't lose anything when the world disappears from your mind so that you can see that even without the thoughts of others you are so peaceful and all right and just okay the one who does not have faith in the beyond has great trust in the world these two go together faithlessness in the beyond comes along with great belief in the reality of the world
यू विल फील दैट इफ़ योर पोजिशंस को अवे और फैमिली और फ्रेंड्स को अवे देन यू आर नथिंग नॉट ओनली आर यू लेफ्ट विथ नथिंग यू आर नथिंग एंड वॉट इज फेथ टू नो दैट यू आर नॉट रिड्यूस्ड इवन इफ ऑल इज टेकन अवे फ्रॉम यू दैट इज फेथ वॉट रिमेन्स the faithful does not need to put a word upon it what remains nothing he is just silent but silently he knows that all that is valuable does remain I have people coming to me, and they'll come and they'll sit and they'll talk of the problems posed by the world. And till a point, it is all right. You may be in a mood to chat, <coughs> and you require a subject to chat, so it's all right. Let's chat about this and that. but when somebody starts taking it very seriously then i know that it is no more a chat it is now a deception who are you fooling who are you fooling people talk of situations people talk of family members and economic constraints who are you fooling now we cannot really talk because now you have not come to seek a solution now you are trying to prove that the problem is real and there are no solutions if you keep believing and asserting that your problems are real the only solution that anybody ever got was that the problem itself is fake that is the only solution if you keep talking of others believing that others are the problem then there can be no solution if you keep complaining about situations then there can be no solution solution lies in admitting that you do not see solution lies in admitting that you are not only mistaken but you are maliciously mistaken that yours is not even an innocent mistake come close to the truth 
and all the rubbish will anyway fall off your body it's like taking a bath under the skies you keep sitting in your protected rooms with layers and layers of dust upon your bodies my job is to keep inviting you to the showers under the skies and when you come there you don't come to talk about the dirt it would be stupid right it's raining so pleasantly so bountifully and you are sitting and grudging the dirt if only you have the guts to step out there would be no need to complain does that mean that the others will disappear does that mean that their attitudes will change no they may remain what they are and where they are but you will find that you have left them far behind and that is sufficient the facts of the situation in some way may not change somebody is stupid he may still remain stupid somebody is possessive he may still remain possessive but you have now left them behind and that is sufficient having left them behind you have gone beyond now do they exist do they exist they don't and if they still exist for you then a part of you is still composed of them go wash it as you hear this many of you would be feeling bad somebody might just be trembling in his heart oh my god we'll have to leave our loved ones behind no you won't have to leave them behind because you cannot leave them behind as long as you are what you are the unrest that you are experiencing right now the tremors in your mind are proof enough that these people would always stay around you do you know who will leave them behind who is at peace while listening to these words you very well know what your disease is you very well know who are these people who have made your life hell 
and remember because we know that these people are what we are hence we are not blaming them we are stating it as a matter of fact you very well know right who has made your life hell the moment it is said go past them you cannot do that because going past them would mean going past yourself to leave a so called loved one is the death of darkness that you are and you don't want that death but we are not even honest to state that in so many words we will not say that i am afraid that a part of my personality will crumble we will say i love him so much that i cannot leave him seriously you love him so much that you cannot leave him had he not been related to you had you known of his actions just as a case study objective case study would you still have recommended somebody else to stay with this man given what he has been doing given the games that he has been playing would you recommend your friend to stay with such a man you won't but you continue with these people around you to go past them is to go past your own insecurity it is not at all about your love or your sense of responsibility it is not out of love or responsibility that you are with them it is just fear that keeps you there and the only solution to fear is faith unless you have that you will continue to live in fear and you will continue to live with these people inside you and hence around you getting it it is so very unthinkable for us to leave the rotten jobs that we are in right it is so very unthinkable for us to walk out of the rotten house that we are in it is unthinkable for you because you are not in the job the job is in you it is unthinkable for you to walk out of your rotten house because you are not in the house the house is in you your entire being smells of that house the day you are purged of that house you will walk out in no time in fact you won't even need to walk out you will find that you are already out the need to go back has finished you are already out have you ever wondered have you ever asked yourself what is this urge to return to the same people and the same house and the same job every day what is this need this need is what you are this need is your name this need is your self your personality till the time you keep going back to the same people remember you are the same old man kindly do not claim any kind of progress or transformation 